Hey everybody, picking up right where we left off at the end of the breach here. Prob as soon as a building dies, we're gonna lose. And I think I'm gonna live with that, you know, it's been an okay first attempt. I think my egg and mortar... Well, just getting extra one damage out of it might actually make it worthwhile. But I think it's not really my go-to uh, option. Why are you in storage? Any build, like it just has to be equipped on any of our units, and then we get the passive. I kind of thought it. <clears throat> pardon me. I kind of thought it was like an overarching passive, but that's fine. Because then in our tank, we're gonna put the uh, the shield tank. Requires two power. Still seems cool. Depower this. Take the extra health away, and now we got a unit that can actually create some shields. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to lose. And that's okay. We're going to live with that. We're going to come back and be stronger next time. Start at corporate HQ, obviously. We're losing the fight. They also insist I trust you, and since those cowards rarely insist I do anything, I'm giving you a chance to prove yourselves. Well, we're going to try. RST train. Why not? Why not do training? I don't know if this is actually a tutorial. What do we get out of this? Just corporate reputation, but let's try it anyway. End battle with less than four mech damage. Maybe it'll give us, I mean, we need to then beeline towards power, obviously. Maybe we can get around to here as a result of that, as a result of coming to this island first. This is a shield. It will block damage and any negative effects. Only direct damage will remove the shield Non-damaging negative effects will have no effects. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's go like tank here, artillery here, where it's already in line to maybe hit two units. Yes, I know. Did I make it so our tank only shoots shields? This might not have been my shrewdest moment as, a, as an adult human being. We also have a new status effect I've never seen before. You only shoot shield tanks, and it only has one usage. <laughs> well, we've minimized our damage output. Lightning will strike here. All right, so we should probably move. That seems fair. And then what is this, uh, what is this sand attack you got going on here? The blast scion will cause all vec to explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Oh, okay. That's interesting. The thing is, artillery can destroy you. I could kill you with artillery. I, I thought the dune would, like, if damage it turns into smoke, units in smoke cannot attack or repair. I thought this would do one extra damage. That's obviously not the case. Um, you've got four HP, which is a lot. What are, what are your other abilities here? Charge forward to damage and push the target. It looks like you do it with your butt, which is interesting. And then the Blast Scion. I mean, we need a shield tank. The only question is, I mean, what are we going to do with it? Because the answer right now is like nothing. Um, I think I'm going to move you here. Well, hold up a sec. I'm pretty sure this is where we're all going to die, but... Look at that. It's a shield tank. What's up, dude? What do you do? Shields a single tile. Interesting. Uh, so we can stand here and be shielded, but that's not something we're interested in uh, essentially at all. Uh, as a result of the shield... Well, where, where can you shoot the shield tiles? Look at that. Uh, only adjacent to you. Okay, good to know. I'm just trying to see like where I'm going to put you. I think you should go here and maybe... Take a stab at something like this. Will this damage this tile if I know? Okay, so I'm going to turn this tile into smoke. And I'm going to push this guy back one. And he is going to hit a shield, but I'm going to like live with that, I guess. And then you, I don't know, just shield... You, you might as well put a shield... Not on the tank, let's not be ridiculous. Hopefully that shield lasts more than one turn.
But even if it doesn't, we could just come through here. Okay, I, I don't know. This Something doesn't seem right about this so far, but nothing's taking damage. Um, let's end turn, and we're, we're trying to keep this alive, but no promises, you know? I don't know if we should have given our tank exclusively a passive ability. It seems like one of those things that's more of like a support option. You know, if you can get a couple of weapons going, you, you I imagine you feel better about it. All right, let's see what happens here. We got enemies that are close to hitting one another, which is nice. Like this situation right here looks looks pretty sick if we can make it happen. Oh, you got three HP. Oh, and two HP. It's like, you know, you look at something like this, and I think you go, look at that. Easily get a kill there. Push this guy out of the way. What are you? You're going to attack a building. I don't like that. However, we could also shield the building. And what are you doing? Oh my god. Lobs an artillery shot at a single tile. Okay, so you're attacking me there. So this thing needs to be protected. And it should be protected from this side, unfortunately. So I kind of worry about the artillery. I imagine it'll just push us back. Okay, so I think that's a good start. Now, I don't even know what the tank does at this point. Like, it has no reason to exist. Uh, and that's my own idiocy. But also, it's growing pains, you know. Now, you. I think I would like... It's very sensible, to, I think, to knock this guy onto the lightning strike. But it can't do it. Can push him one tile over, but only this way. Seems definitely smarter to move our tank. And then let me let me look at this for a sec. If I put you there, you're gonna pu get pushed into the smoke. Cannot dam cannot uh, attack or repair. So I think I should push you into the smoke. At which point you can't do anything. And then I should like punch you into you. Something about this seems fine. Let's try this for now. So you shouldn't... Yeah, your attack has been cancelled. Cool beans. I'd like to leave you there, I think, for now. Like, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, but you're dead. Ah, but we really want to knock this guy out. He's going to kill a building. But if I stand... You think the lightning will, will shield me? Only direct damage will... Dude, okay, I, I think we try it. And if it all fails, at least we've learned a valuable lesson, right? Let's see. Please, please. Oh! <laughs> Your mech was disabled. Its pilot was killed and will not be able to act for the rest of the mission. Well, uh, you know, he, he gave his life for a good cause. Now, what's really bad is that I think that this means, uh, you know, this guy can't be on our squad when we go back in time to essentially restart so yeah th this is over um definitely over in fact it's so over because we, we only have one attacking unit and all we have to prevent a building from being destroyed so i think we're just gonna say ah oh, you know what you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs you know what i mean pierre i'm sorry to do this but uh it has to be done a very okay. Oh no, the grid is collapsing. The island's lost. Okay, initiating temporal breach protocols. I'm very sorry that I destroyed like our ideal mech that was doing great stuff for us. But it was a learning lesson. Environmental damage supersedes shields. Got it. That was an hour and 32 minutes. Who should we take here? I think we should take um, our artillery, which was. Oh, it, it, maybe you can just put them in any mech. Anyway, he was. This is our artillery man. One mech move or one mech reactor? Definitely one mech reactor. Okay. So here's our time traveler. Click to rename. Island secure. This is just our achievements. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Okay. Change squad. Squad seems fine. Pierre, you're doing good stuff. You can start in the in the major mech. That's fine by me. Let's start the game up. Okay. Now that we know what we're doing. I feel a little bit better. I'm back, and there's Archive Restored. Still, that won't last if I don't stop the VEC. So our mech 
has extra power because of Pierre's special ability. Let's give him... Uh, oh, no, we don't have an extra. Okay, so let's give him extra movement because then he can punch, basically, which I think is sensible. Um, he can punch from a further distance. We really He already does two damage, so I think this is fine. Um, and let's start with Archive Inc. Vec difficulty will scale depending on how many islands you completed. Okay, no, let's not then. Let's start at the RST or AST Corporation, whichever this one is. All right. Um, let's start. New Terra. Defend the Terraformer. Terraform the grassland back to desert. Use the Terraformer on the ground in this sector. We can't let the Vec use the stable landmass to breed. The whole region could be lost. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I feel stronger than yesterday. Now it's nothing but a heartache. My loneliness ain't killing me no more. Now you got regular artillery. I want you to be... I don't really want you to be on the front lines. But at the same time, I need you to have lateral movement. So that you can actually... Uh, Uh, hit any unit in line of sight, basically. Okay, so obviously... It's under control, Dr to use it to turn grass tiles into sand tiles. Okay, cool. Um, why? <laughs> Eradicate all life in front of the terraformer. Yo, that seems sweet. Um, all right, we got to think about this for a sec. Let's let's be smart. I think we were doing we we're not being intelligent people there. Would we rather kill this guy because he's got more HP, or this guy because he's flying? I think I'd rather kill this guy because he's got more HP. No. That is a bad and stupid move. We should kill this guy because he's flying. Fair. And then check this out. Don't know why I said it like that. Um, you're going to go back. Just one space. And then you're going to use your artillery. Push this guy onto the spawn. gonna block it you're attacking one space in front of you that's okay I'm gonna move here and block this one for my myself so we're gonna block two spawns here then we got this guy I don't want to push him back one because I'm pretty sure if I push him back one he's just gonna leap onto me so instead I'm gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna push him into the sand which will actually just kill him so we didn't have to do this but that's fine I am more than pleased with this So this guy's going to take one damage, and he's going to block a spawn. Beautiful. Nobody is attacking any buildings right now. Yes, that's true. Um, give me a second. Give me a second to think this one through. I kind of like the idea. Send in, like, our tank over... Oh, I can't quite go far enough. I was going to send them here. Shoot this guy. This guy's free. Push this guy. Ah, but then he'll hit a building. That's true. Hmm. Anyway, if we punch this guy, he's not down for the count, but he's he's hurt. If I could move you, how could you? How far could you move? I feel like it's probably the most sensible. Oh, but I right can't do it. I really want the tank to hit this guy, knock this guy free, kill this guy in one hit, and then our artillery's free. But I don't think we can do that. It's ramp. It's mission one. 
I don't think we should terraform yet, unless... No, they can terraform anywhere, I'm sure, so... If the artillery gets free, where do we want to shoot it? Well, this guy, the problem is he has to die. I still think it's probably best to, like, just come back and take a shot. But it's not my favorite move, to be honest with you. Because then if I punch you, it's going to damage this building, which is obviously not good. Um, ooh, if I could hit here, this would be the perfect spot. No, it w um Yes, it would. This would be fine. Because this guy's not going to attack anything, and now I'm free. And I can do something cool, like send you over here. You'll block the spawn and die. And we created a smoke tile. And then you, you still have the terraformer. But the thing is, like, I'd, I'd rather terraform this next turn with the idea that maybe if we do so, we could we could kill a unit on that tile. Or maybe we could push them into that and then kill a unit. Yeah, so I think we'll just end turn, even though we have that spare unit. I know we have the secondary objective, but we can get that in one turn anyway. So you're gonna create a forest fire. Fine by me. You died, but still blocked the enemy. Okay, you're done. All right, I think we sort of lucked out. It's like our terraformer now. We do this. And that's an easy kill. We do need to we need to terraform in this direction as well. In the future. But for now this will work. Um, and then you can I get to I can get to here, block spawn and kill you. That seems like a huge play. Yeah, I actually quite like this. We're going to take a damage by blocking the spawn, but we're also going to block the spawn, so it seems like a good idea. Now, you should just be killed. We don't need to do anything else there. Like, the artillery is just going to end you. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Well, rather than reset turn, I'm going to let you hit me and I'm gonna kill this unit I always forget the artillery only hits in the center I don't know why I would go for the push instead again my brain it just doesn't like naturally get the artillery pattern it's like being four years old and, and trying to learn how to use the knight in chess all right so that guy cemented his own fate and this is the last turn so this is very good the terraformer we're not gonna get the um oh well no, we can't get all the grassland. You got three. I'm just trying to see. I, I should be able to push you into the drink. And then kill this. Oh, but this guy's only got two HP. It's like one punch will kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so like, don't be an idiot. Just come over here and punch him. And then, uh, you. I know we just keep terraforming, like, in the same direction, but just dust him. They're all dead. We defended the terraformer. Everybody's good. Good first mission, right? We didn't get all the objectives, but life goes on. Nobody died in the fire. Great stuff. No levels up, but hey, no buildings hurt. Everything's okay. Got a little experience. It's a start. All right. Um, let's go to the rust dunes. I want to level up. I'm not as worried about power yet. Destroy two mountains and kill at least seven enemies. Do we have? We don't have any power to start with. I'm assuming. All right. So we start with the blast scion, which I would rather not. But put this guy close enough that he can one hit KO it. Uh, and then you should. I think I'm starting to get it. You should come over here. So you have a. Actually, you know what? Hear me out here. Um, I want to move you. I want this guy closer to the front so he has a chance to knock this unit into the water. It's the only unit that he can knock into the water. And then you, like here. 
And then the artillery, we want to be able to move freely so it can hit anywhere, I think. Even though I never use it properly. Starting to get a little strategy. Starting to feel it out a little bit. Alright, well, immediately our plan is faltered. Nobody's getting knocked into the drink, I'll tell you that much. Okay, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Nice stuff. Pacific Rim. Now, you only attack for one tile. I'm looking. I'm looking before I'm leaping. That's what I'm saying. I want this guy to move. So this guy should take the hit. Which means we need to land it right on him. But then how are we going to kill him? We need to use the tank to kill him after that. We can move him into the space that we create. Okay. Let's go, Genos. Genos? More like genius. And I'm not talking about the, like concept of a genius. I'm talking about Genius, the hardest golfer to beat in Mario Golf for Camelot Software's uh, Game Boy Color Classic. Oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you're leaping all the way over here. I don't support it. Now you, you need to move. That's all, basically what this comes down to is you gotta go. Oh my god, no. Genius level plays. Force this guy to jump into the water. There's no way it won't work. It's science. Enjoy the water. And then you, I basically, I hate to do it, but I have to smack you. Because I gotta free my other boy. Alright, oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. You could be even smarter. Punch him. Now you're gonna block a spawn. And then you... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get you to kill some of these mountains for me, because that's a secondary objective. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, actual 4,000 level IQ. Here we go. I cannot wait for this. You didn't jump its artillery, but still, that was pretty sick. Alright, so you blocked a spawn. Good work. Still attacking a building. You're attacking a person. Oh, come on. Why, you're making the building stand still? Seems a little unreasonable to me. Well, the obvious step is to come here. I think, and just send all these guys scattered. So nobody's attacking anything important anymore. And then we get two turns to do whatever we'd like. And, uh... I wish... Anybody... W oh, you're extremely killable. If I knock this guy out first, you're dead. No, but by being pushed into a building, which is not a smart play. So I can easily kill a Scarab, that's no problem. And then block. Ah, uh, no, no, this guy's gotta go. And he's gotta go from the other direction. He only has two HP. Okay, so it has to happen like this. Forget the Scarab. This guy's gotta be punched to death. Save the building. And I think you should block... A spawn, because we got a lot of enemies on the screen right now. And take a stab at just knocking that guy out of the way. Alright. Decent job of management so far, I think. Only one more enemy's coming out this turn. That's gonna be tough, though. Alright. Well, Artillery, do any of you have 1 HP? You do have 1 HP. What happens if I kick you over here and you're already attacking there? You know what I mean? Like, I, I kinda wanna see what happens. You're still gonna continue to attack there, huh? 
You have two HP. We can live. Um, like my thing, this guy's gonna die, which is important. But will this guy get kicked onto the dune? And and hopefully he can't attack us. He'll be in smoke. I don't. He's not in smoke, but his attack was canceled because he was moved. I guess it moved into a place where he doesn't have an attack in range. Cool. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's. I I could do this perhaps. Uh, with you. so there's two ways to do this. Is what I'm trying to say. I could just punch you. You'll die, and then I'll hit you, block this spawn, be at 1 HP, and there will only be one enemy left to take care of. And that'll give us, I mean, this is seven enemies once they're dead. Well, this guy as well. Um, but we won't get two mountains destroyed. The other play is we come down here, punch this guy, knock him over here. He's not going to be effective. Hit this guy, and then that's going to lead to him destroying a mountain. But then another enemy is going to spawn, and that just seems a little too dicey for me. So you know what? I think we should be intelligent. Do something like that. Oh, but we didn't. Still, good. Good. St well, not good stuff, because we didn't get any of the bonuses, but I mean, we did protect a thousand civilians. Got some experience. I can live with that. Let's knock out one more here. And but Power Grid's looking fine. Check the emergency battery. Seismic activity. Warning. Cataclysm. Well, obviously, we got to check that. Try not to fall into the depths. Well, I will do my best. Thank you for your well wishes. Uh, cataclysm. Mark tiles will become chasms at the start of the enemy turn, killing any ground units present. All right. Well, we want to be able to kill the blast scion on turn one, so that requires you to be there. Um, and I think we should just have our tank at the front. Like maybe, maybe here, and then our artillery in the midline here, so that it has good um, ability to strafe side to side. It seems like positioning and and moving people, repositioning people is going to be really important. Oh, we got a time pot as well, um, so that we can kick them into the into the grid. And by the grid, I mean uh, the chasms, of course. Okay, so the blast pod's doing nothing. This seems pretty sensible to me. Or blast uh, Scion. Seems pretty sensible to me. Um, I believe we're going to want to block spawn. Kill the blast Scion. Knock this guy onto the... Oh, no, no, no. There's a better play. How far out can you get? It seems crazy. But I'm being real with you. How do? What do we do? Artillery? Oh, can we? No, you can't get to the space I need you to get to. Disregard. There might not be a better play. I know you're like, no, really? <laughs> what if I just punch you? Oh, but you're not. You're just gonna die there. That's the thing. Yeah. I, so let's. I kind of like this into a. You can't kill anything else because they'll explode. Wait a minute. Maybe that would have been exactly what we we're looking for. So this is an easy play. Like you. Yeah. Okay. I, I see the play. I see. I see a line. I'm not saying it's a good line. Something like this. Yeah. Yeah, something like this. Uh, never mind, I'm stupid. This guy's definitely dead. But I was like, this guy, we just want to kick him into the... Uh, can we uh, maybe reset this turn? Because we hit you here. Yeah, uh, is that okay? I think I got a better play. I think I got a better play. Let's reset turn. Okay. Hole up. Same is a similar strat. The, you go to here, punch this guy. But then you come here. He's dead by crashing into me. Yeah, okay, I like this better. Same strat. 
now we do this. We do take two damage because we're going to block the spawn as well. But, I mean, I think it's a uh, decent use of uh, company resources. Yeah. I like that turn a lot better. Now, our key mech does only have one HP left. I don't love that. You're attacking this way. You're attacking this way. So I can't really... You gotta die, more or less. I wouldn't mind. I'm trying to figure out how we... I'm just looking. Because so I'd prefer... I mean, this is a very short mission. But if possible, I would, like, prefer to not, uh, you know, die, I think would be a smart decision. Because we can kill these guys. We can kill at least one of them. I think we can kill both. I think if we have artillery here, we'll do 1-1. One, one. It'll free this guy. He'll move out of the way. Shoot. Shoot. Now that I think about it, I'm like, I don't know if it'll actually work this way, but... Okay, I think, like... Here's my thinking right now. Move you here. Artillery. He's gonna attack essentially nothing. It's gonna free our tank, which is very important. Because then, the tank... Really like to like push this guy onto the cataclysm if possible. I think that's more advantageous than blocking a spawn. God! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I, I shot the enemy onto the onto the time pod. That wasn't uh, my finest moment in hindsight. Uh, anyway, on the bright side, you're dead. So that's cool. And this unit is also going to be dead. And I don't even think there's a possibility for a unit to spawn in that tile. Yeah, even better. Okay. We're going to make it for sure. The only question is, can we kill seven enemies? I, I hope the answer is yes. Like, you're going to die. Yeah, I can kill seven. I, I can kill eight. Watch this. Boom. Boom. It had to be done in this order. And then you... It had to be done in this order. Never mind. I, I thought that would push him off the edge. Because I'm an idiot who's never played this game. Um, anyway, this guy's still going to die. So hopefully it counts. Let's go. They did escape, but we got... Two objectives completed there, so I feel a little bit better. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Uh, grid's getting stronger. Feeling a lot better about this one so far. We've been doing a little bit better, I think. If you enjoy the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Into the Breach.